Hey guys, um, so I've been working on some leather stuff and I'm going to show you how you can um, do tooled leather with the Explore, Explore Air, Explore 2, um, Explore 3, Maker, and Maker 3. So what I'm going to use today is the Maker 3 and uh, I will have a list of um, what you need to do all this with. And basically, I have been practicing and um, tooling leather, which I'm going to add to some hats. I've got one drying right now. I don't know when it'll be dry. Um, that was a challenge. Um, but I am uh, going to show you how to do it, how to design it, what to look for, and what all you need, and then go through it and show you. So um, we're just going to look. Let's see if I, can, I can't switch this. Um, we're going to look, and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so this is what I've been working on. So I've done tooled leather, and this is just the leather that I got at Tandy, and it has been stained. It was tooled on the Maker 3. I tried a real detailed one to see how it worked, and it turned out great. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna go in to Design Space. And when you go into Design Space, you're gonna go to Images. You can also create your own, but the easiest way to get started to see how to do it and what you need to do is to go to images and we're going to have and I'm going to type in peace signs working one-handed all right so it's going to pull up all the peace signs then I'm going to come over here to operations type and on the operations type, I want to select cut and draw. There, got it. Cut and draw. And then I'm going to look and I'm going to scroll down. There it is. That's the one I want. So this one is the one I'm going to do. And I'm going to add it. Here's my design. That is a pin and draw, or pin and cut. The basic part of it to cut is the back area, and then you have all the other parts that are the pin with the markers or your um, infused ink um, pins and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I want the back to be a little bit bigger than what the back is. So I am going to come up here to offset. I'm clicking on the circle. I'm gonna go up here to offset fighting. I think I need a new battery in my mouse. <sighs> offset. Okay, so I have the offset. I'm going to come down here and I want it uh, 0.05. I generally go between 0 0.05 and 0, um, 0.25. So I'm going to hit apply. And as you can see, it's right there. To work with my um, image, I'm gonna blow it up some so I can see it. So my image is 3.7 and I actually want it 2.5 because I'm gonna put it on a hat. Yes, we all make mistakes. I forgot my dot. Told y'all, I am not a pro at this, or as in doing videos. All right, so there it is. So I wanna zoom into it so that I can see, and I do have the back that's offset. Now, I want that offset to go ahead and be the same color as what the back part is, so that I can see it. So I'll come over here, and I'm gonna change the um, offset that I just did, and it is going to be a cut. 
a basic cut. I want it to have color. I want it to be the same color it already is so I can see. And it went red. I need a new mouse. All right, so I've changed the color of the offset. Now, the other one that I had that was on the back that came with it, right over here, I'm going to click on it, right click, and I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now here's where we are. You see all the pin lines and all that stuff? So what I'm going to do with the pin lines is I am going to go over here to the print and cut and I'm going to choose foil. And I'm going to do foil at medium. Then I'm gonna to come to the next one. I'm going to come up here, I'm gonna do foil. I'm going to pick medium, because I'm using the medium pen, and I'll explain that in a minute, because I'd like to get this cutting. Click on the next part of it, foil, medium. Go to the next one. It's also going to be foil medium. You're going to do that on each one of them that it says print and cut. I'm going to do foil, oops, sorry, medium. All right, so now I have that. My design is set. I have the back part is going to be cut and then I have my design. Now, on the design, they are all attached. As you can see, it changed and attached them all. So they're all attached. The tools that I'm going to use in the Maker 3, and if you were to use the Maker, my Maker's in North Texas, I want it to um, engrave first. So the total copies of the inner piece sign part that I'm going to do is four. So I'm going to do four copies. So I'm gonna come over here to the peace sign. I am going to, you can right click or hit duplicate. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm just gonna hit up here. Duplicate, that makes one, two, three, and there's number four. So I've now duplicated all four. On all four of those, I'm gonna add one more duplicate. I'm going to duplicate. And on this last one that I'm doing right here, that's a medium foil, I'm going to take it and I am going to change it to engrave. And now it looks like this. I'm also gonna take the back part that I did, that was the offset, I am also going to duplicate that. So we have two of those. I'm gonna take the back part and I am going to arrange and I'm gonna send it all the way to the back. That way when I pick the, um, when I pick the, how it's gonna cut with the deep blade and the product that it's gonna use so it can cut through the leather and do all the other stuff. It actually, for one cut, will cut twice, so it'll go through the leather, so it'll automatically cut four times. I'm going to take and put, shrink it down just a hair bit so that I can see all of the patterns. I'm gonna take, as you would normally do, and put a box around all of it. I want them all in a line. I don't want them um, all over the place. I want them all together. So I'm gonna come up to the top up here, which fortunately we have a great source on that. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna hit center. And everything's gonna go like this, and everything's in line. Now, once I do that, because I only want it, I don't want it because it's in different colors to be on all different mats. I want it to be together. 
So I'm gonna come down here and on my design, I am going to attach. So now everything is attached. Now from this point, I am going to go to the make it. And I have to turn on my maker. So we're going to do make it. And you'll see that it's right here. Now I'm going to take and move this down a little bit and over. I don't want it right exactly on the lines because of the rollers and everything else. I don't want the rollers to go through. Now when you look at what it's going to do, it's going to engrave first. It's going to do the medium foil second. And then it's going to cut your design out so that you can use it for making leather coasters, anything like that. So I have it all over here and it's getting ready. Line it, I don't want to go down here. I want to go down just a little bit. That way I know where it is on the mat. All right, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to leave it right here. I'm not going to continue yet because I have a little bit more process to do. And I did this all kind of backwards, but I wanted to show you how to design um, the design and get ready to cut it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the mat and have it ready so that it can go through. Now, if you're using an Explore, Explore Air, anything in the Explore family and the Explore 3, you can use the engrave tool on some of them. Or you can use the engrave tool and then you would use, nope, that's wrong. Engrave tool is for maker. Some of y'all do have, because um, I've seen it posted, the engrave tool for your, um, y'all figured out ways to do the engrave tool for your explorers, even though it's not available. You can use that. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't done it yet. I have to use the other machine and I'm going to do that later and do a video for the explorers, even though this one's for the maker. But on your Explore family and Explore 3 uh, machines, you will use the medium foil tip and your deep blade. So now I'm going to go and show you the materials that I'm using, which I should have done first, and also how I do it to where I don't get fuzz leather all over my mat my brand new, well, it's not brand new, but new enough um, green um, sticky mat and so that you can see that. So let's go do that.